This is another way to gather lots of keywords for your website. Let's say, for example, you have a new blog or you want to add new contents to your existing blog. So this functionality, Keyword Magic Tool uh, by SEMrush, it's really helpful uh, for any starter that getting new topics for their blog. So I'm going to show you. Let's say, for example, here, you will put some phrase or key seed keyword. Let's say, for example, hotels near. Okay. And then here you click on search. Now, as you can see, the results right here, there are 816,000 keywords uh, that have been, you know, uh, generated using that uh, search term that we added hotels near. So let's say, for example, you want to have an affiliate hotel site where if anyone books a hotel from your website, you'll get commission. So I made a lot of tutorials about hotel commissions. Uh, just look in my channel. Now here, these are many keywords right there. So for example, right here, hotels near Universal Studios, Hollywood, cheap hotel near me, hotel near Disney World. So lots of, you know, things, uh, lots of keywords here that you can convert as articles and then put link to a hotel affiliate program that can make you money. So here, uh, there's a little bit difference in Ahrefs as I always show you. So the keyword difficulty here is measured by percentage. So uh, the higher it will be, the more difficult it is. So let's say, for example, you, you want you can filter here the difficulty, let's say very easy. So let's do that. So it will uh, filter based on the difficulty right there. And as you can see, we still get 14,000 uh, keywords right there. And you'll see here, hotel near 73 Garners Ferry Road. So look at the difficulty, it's just 13. So it's quite easy to run for this keyword right here. If you're gonna post that on Medium, let's say, or if you have a specific website related to hotel so look at the search volume right there are uh, really nice so here you can also you can still grab some hotels near miami cruise port free shuttle look at those keywords right there it is a money keyword right there hotels near rocket top sports road so you wouldn't have think about this uh keyword right there if you are not going to use any keyword tool right here so uh if you want to try this there is a 14-day trial semrush you don't have to pay you can uh, uh check in the description in my link below and if you sign up for a free um trial, pro trial right here, then you can start getting all the keywords you need. Let's say, for example, you have 10 websites. For those 14 days, you can gather all the keywords you will need in order for you to, uh, you know, uh, create your uh, kingdom or empire websites that you wanted to have. All type of niche like that, you can gather all the information, all the niche ideas, everything, okay? And before the, uh, you know, the due date, arrives, make sure you cancel your subscription so you don't have to pay. So just consume those 15, those 14 days trial and um, it's worth it. Yeah. So yeah, check out the link below. And now here, uh, what I'm going to do since I have this manifestation website right here. So if I'm going to add new topics related to manifestation. So here I'm going to use again, uh, the keyword magic tool. So here, let's say, uh, I want to have how manifestation, let's say we want this phrase and then pick on search. And you see right here, it gave me 12,000 result for manifestation. And then this phrase, uh, and then the seed keyword that you type here, all related to uh, this uh, seed phrase right there. Now, you can easily grab this by selecting everything and then just copy all, all this one. And yeah, you can separate them accordingly. Now, you can also grab those very easy keywords right there. For example, 0 to 14%. Look at that. So if you grab that, you have this new 36 topics that you can easily create as articles. So how to raise manifestation manifestation vibration. Let's try some more. So for example, you want to have something like um, quantum. Okay. So let's go to a keyword magic tool again. And here you can type, let's say, uh, what? And then quantum. Something like that. And you go and search. And again, you get a bunch of keywords right here. 8,000 keywords right there. All right. So here you can um, filter the keywords again with just the difficulty of uh, 0 to 14%. You can also uh, uh, put the custom range. So let's say you want to have those keywords with 0% to 25% difficulty and you apply that. And here you get 43 more. Okay. So you can all type these keywords right there. So let's grab some keywords to put in our website. So for example, this one, what is quantum healing therapy? What is quantum healing hypnosis technique? So those interesting keywords right there. You can also use this to grab keywords from a website, let's say, for example, reddit.com. And if you go to domain overview and type this reddit.com, you click on search. And here you can find there are, you know, look at this 900 million organic search traffic. There are 363, uh, CC right there. There are 363 million keywords ranking in Reddit. Uh, that's, you know, monitored by SEMrush. So if you click this, this keywords right there and you apply the keyword difficulty to very easy, you, here you can add 
filters that, for example, keyword containing, let's say your, again, your niche is about manifestation, let's say like that, and you click on apply, okay? So it will show you all the 435 results containing very easy keywords. At the same time, there are manifestations in, in keyword, okay? Now you can also add more filters here. So let's say, for example, uh, I want to have the word count. So the word count will be um, at least uh, uh, greater than greater than four, okay? Keep the word count. So that means those keywords will have minimum of five. And those keywords I can easily create as articles. So let's apply that. And you see right here, there are 74 keywords uh, with very easy. And of course, this criteria that we added right there. And here we can easily grab these uh, 74 keywords. So once you acquired all the keywords you need, let's say, for example, you get 100 or more keywords that you want to convert as articles. So you can write them yourself or you can use the, uh, you know, the service of Article AI Generator. So you go here and you generate this bulk keywords that you gathered from SEMrush and, you know, auto post that directly to your website right here, which saves your time. So this is my manifestation website. So I'm going to auto post that those keywords right here. And of course, to save time, I'm going to generate featured image. This, so since this website is already indexed on Google, uh, I want to keep them as draft. And then, you know, you will need to have your workflow on how frequent you're going to publish each article that's in draft mode. Okay, so let's do that. I'm going to uh, generate this of articles right here. And if you see right here, all the 11 articles that we have uh, auto posted to our WordPress website have been successfully posted. So there's our uh, post ID right there. And if we go to our site right here, we go to post and you see they're all in draft mode. So let's take a look at one of the articles. Look at this. This is a pretty interesting keyword. What does 0909 mean in manifestation? So let's preview that. And there you go. We have the featured image right there. And this is our, you know, SEO friendly structured article with the right number of words. So let's just take a look how many words we have. See right here, we just selected a short article, but it provided us 2,370 2, uh, keywords right there. Okay. So it's pretty, uh, it's really good. Now, since these are all in draft mode, these are all in draft mode, uh, we cannot put them in publish. Otherwise, we uh, could be marked by Google as spammy because we are publishing multiple uh, blog posts in a day. Uh, recommended to publish is just three to five uh, posts per day. So I think that's the safe number if your website already existing on Google. Now, what you can do here, go to plugins and here click on add new plugin and search this plugin called Autopost Scheduler. We'll see this result right here by Super Blood Me. So install that plugin. Once that plugin is activated, go to settings and here you will find this Autopost scheduler. Now, the configuration here is pretty simple. So what you just need to do here in Autopost, so that means every, uh, let's say 24 hours, our Autopost will run, okay? So I think uh, that's the correct, uh, that's the best configuration we can have. So let's check every 24 hours. Or uh, what you can do is uh, check every, uh, let's say uh, 12 hours, something like that. And then here um, you can, uh, run, uh, start, you know, the configuration right away. You can do that uh, if you want. When you click enable, it will start right away, but you can delay for, let's say, one hour. In one hour, my configuration will start. So here, every 12 hours, it will check for eligible um, article to be published. So you click the drafts here, make sure you click the drafts and ignore all this configuration. Now, what you need to do here, number of posts. So you can have one and maximum posts per day. So you can have, uh, let's say, for example, you want five only, okay, to make it uh, safe. Now here, that means every 12 hours, this auto post scheduler will run and it will publish one post, okay? So you can also do every eight hours and it will publish one post right there. But you have a limit up to five posts to be published in the same date. Okay, so that's how you will configure in order for you to avoid uh, being marked as spam website right there. So after the configuration, you take this update options. And here, don't forget to uh, click this enable auto post scheduler. So that as you can see right there in the date. So in one hour, our auto post scheduler will start running and check the configuration that we have here. It will publish the eligible article. Okay. And I think uh, that's about it, guys. So I hope you learned something from this video. And if you do, uh, don't forget to leave a like. Thank you and see you in the next one.